Okay, in 42, we're going to use this graph to write the polynomial in factored form. This graph tells us that one of the roots is at negative 2, 0. If one of the roots is at negative 2, 0, that means one of the factors has to be x plus 2. So if I can divide this polynomial by x plus 2, I should be able to figure out what the remaining factors are. So I'm going to use division here to divide 5x cubed minus 14x squared minus 53x minus 10 by x plus 2. Be careful not to use x minus 2 because the root is negative 2, which means the factor is x plus 2. So this is going to go here, and we're going to work backwards to figure out the rest. x times 5x squared gives me this. Multiplying these gives me 10x squared. I want a negative 14x squared, so this should be negative 24. This is a negative 24x. This would be negative 48x. I need another negative 5. X. Oops. This should go right here, which means this is a negative 5 and this is a negative 10. No remainder. So the expression we end up with here can be factored in order to find what the other factors are of this polynomial. So if we factor this, using the diamond here, we have negative 25 and negative 24. Two numbers that multiply to negative 25 but add to negative 24 are these. Be careful not to do x minus 25x plus 1. Those are not the factors of this expression. The factors of this you can get by doing factoring by grouping. 5x squared minus 25x plus 1x minus 5. Factor by grouping gives us 5x times x minus 5 plus 1 times x minus 5. These factors are 5x plus 1 and x minus 5. To find the degree, we need to look at the largest exponent, which is 3. To find the remaining roots, we need to use zero product property with these other two factors. So either 5x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. This would give us a root of negative 1 fifth. This equation would give us a root of positive 5.